some of the newest news that we have in the world of sleep and obesity, which is the use of GLP-1 medications and its role in treatment of sleep mm-hmm. apnea. Would you dive into that? Yeah, definitely. I, I think this is really exciting news and I've kind of been waiting with bated breath for it to come out. Obesity is uh, such a sort of a passion of mine because it has such a strong overlap with obstructive sleep apnea. In fact, it is one of the big biggest risk factors for obstructive sleep apnea. But there's some misconceptions or myths out there, one of which is that if you are someone who struggles with obesity, then you have sleep apnea 100% of the time. Another myth is if you lose weight or get down to a normal BMI, body mass index, your sleep apnea, if present, will resolve. So I want to kind of break that up. And I think that um, talking about uh, terzepatide or ZepBound is a great start. So uh, initially, these highly effective GLP-1 medications were used among diabetes. And what was noticed was that these people were losing weight. And so more research was done to identify both semaglutide or uh, ozempic slash Wagovi and terzepatide, which is uh, ZepBound, as weight loss medications primarily. 